Hi Scorpio, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Scorpio, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Scorpio. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the two of pentacles, and this is earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. So this is a card of someone who is going back and forth about something. They could be trying to juggle two things, work versus love, head versus heart. There's something about trying to find balance and um, to find order, to, to balance something out here. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the three of cups, water energy. The Six of Pentacles, Earth Energy. And we have the Two of Swords, Air Energy. Okay, so yeah, it looks like someone is looking at this connection and trying to figure out how they can make it more of a priority or how they can make something even or fair. Because we do have the Six of Pentacles, which does show something about balance, you know, equal give and take. Um, perhaps up until this point, things haven't been that balanced. Um, and, you know, this does give this person some sort of anxiety. With the Two of Swords, there is this fearful energy when they are looking at this situation. Um, this person could be wanting to reconcile, wanting to give to the situation, but there's still this fear of not knowing what will come about it if they do invest more. Um, but there's this acknowledgement that something requires more effort from them. They are aware of that. Um, but we are seeing a person who's quite guarded here. Um, so this person may take their time here. You know, especially if you feel like this person owes you, they may take a while before they they really pour into this. It's like they, they want to think it through. For some reason, this is someone who's very afraid of losing their power. And for some reason, they feel like giving too much or giving to the situation could result in that. Um, so there's this feeling of moving slowly, possibly even a stalemate with this two of swords. Um, there's this this feeling of, overanalyzing the situation um, but we do have the three of cups which is a card of good news so let's clarify these cards um scorpio Okay, so we have the Four of Cups, and this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So you could, again, there's this feeling of this person hasn't given you enough. You could want more from them. There's something about them giving a small amount or, you know, giving a small offer. So let's see. Okay, we have the Ace of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Ten of Cups, Water Energy, and the Empress, Venus Energy. So you know your worth. You know you deserve more. Um, there is also this acknowledgement from this person that they do view you as someone who, you know, is this Empress type of energy, someone they think highly of, they respect. Um, but they have certain insecurities as well, some paranoid energy with the Two of Swords. Um, but with the Ten of Cups, it does look like there's potential here for a, a relationship, but it's like someone needs to kind of lower their guard in order for that to happen. Um, because it's this feeling of an offer needing to make a solid offer, not this four of cups energy. Um, but right now this person is, they're not taking action. They're more so thinking about it. Okay. So I'm going to pull out an Oracle card for you, um, Scorpio. Okay, we have the answers you need are coming, full moon in Gemini.
Okay, so we have playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Okay, so I'm going to put a card for you, another card actually. Okay, so we have determination and creative achievement. You can't use up creativity. The more you use, the more you have. So this person, they're aware that they need to do something differently. They could be communicating with you about this soon with this, the answers you need are coming. This person has a lot of fears that hold them back and they kind of want to, you know, get it out of their head and verbalize it somehow to you. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a card for your advice, Scorpio. Okay, so we have surrender to what is. Flow with what is instead of fighting it. When you can't change the situation, compassionately accepting it exactly as it is will bring you peace. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Scorpio. I hope you have a really, really good day, Scorpio. Bye, Scorpio.